Welcome YouTube world. Today I want to show you a video on how to farm some legendaries uh, post game on Mayhem 3 after you've beaten the game. And it's also post patch, the hotfix that only works while it's online by the way. Remember a hotfix is server side only once you disconnect from the internet whatever hotfixes they did aren't there. So what you want to do is you want to go to the planet Eden 6. You want to click on it. You want to click on the first zone, Jacob's Estate. And you're going to look like this here. Okay? This is going to be the orientation of your map. We're actually going to be going around here and here. First, I'm going to show you the route really quick that you want to take. Okay, so we start off here, run towards the NPC, Merle. Drop down. Ignore all the people that'll be here. I've already killed them. <clears throat> Once you get here, you're going to see that blue plant directly in the middle in front of a tree. Look to the right, you'll see a little waterfall. Climb up these rocks. What you want to do is you want to get to the respawn point. Follow the creek. Little shack on your left little campfire on your left, and this. Boom. See how it just did that? Once you get here, what you want to do is pause the game, and if you're on a PS4 or an Xbox, I don't know if it works on PC. You want to disconnect from the internet at this point, which I've already done. Disconnect from the internet. Boom. Then you want to restart the game. I don't know if you can just go to the main menu. I think you have to shut down completely. Okay. Uh, shut the game down completely just to be on the safe side. I tried going to the main menu and I didn't think I didn't find that it worked. So you do that. Now I'm doing this because I've already killed all the people. Get it? I've already killed the people and it's taken too long for me to just show you the route first and then go in and do a demonstration. I just want to get like right back into it. So shut the game down completely once you've shut down the internet on your console or PC. And then once you reboot into the game, after that, when you're farming, you can just exit to the main menu, such as I'm doing, because that's what makes a respawn. But for the sake of the glitch, the reason you go offline as well is because you're getting seven times the amount of XP. So you're going to get a lot of those guardian tokens and all that while you're also farming. I don't know if going offline affects the legendary drop rate. You're actually looking for what's called hoarder tanks. And in my last video that I made, which I deleted... Uh, I didn't go for them right away, and they kind of disappeared. You want to hunt them down. So here's where you're going to spawn. Right at this location. Right next to the campfire. Okay. I choose to go uh, directly straight ahead here. Again, you're looking for hoarder tanks. They look like little goblin gnome things. See, there's a scattershot one. That's a scattershot one. Oh, there's a hoarder tank. See him? Kill him right away. Don't even... Don't even wait. No, that's my pet. Ah, see what happens? I got distracted there. But at least we... At least we got one. Look at your mini-map. That's a scattershot tank. But you want the hoarder ones. I don't think there's going to be any more left here. Let's quickly... Come on. That's right. Do my bidding. Now these daddy goliaths don't actually shoot their heads off. Or they go into a rage mode. You actually just want to shoot their body. Okay, excellent. This is working out the way I wanted. So in this case, we didn't get a legendary drop. But who cares? I'm telling you that they can drop. Uh, epics drop, whatever. Look at your item score. 581 is pretty good, actually. What you want to look for is a... Shut up. You want to look for a glowing bag. Okay, so when you're browsing around, if you kind of looked around and you forgot where you killed it, look for a glowing bag like this. When you click on it, 
I've never not gotten at least one legendary. Okay, iron willed monocle. Yeah, I've already got like three or four of those. So that's uh, the first area here, okay, where you can get those uh, hoarder tanks. Once you're done this little platform, I suggest you just backtrack, literally. Running back over the bridge. Back to this waypoint. Do a left. Do a left. Remember, we came from up this tree. Don't hold back. Just keep running. Ignore everything that's going on. Um, yeah, ignore everything that's going on. Run over the bridge. There's going to be more hoarder tanks, hopefully, around here. Don't forget, it, it is random. So it is possible that you don't get one. But you want to scout around. Oh, there it is. Porter tank. Get on him. Don't even stop. Don't don't leave him out of your sight. Where did he go? There's another one. Don't let him out of your sight. Oh my god. Where did he go? No, not that guy. You wanna... Oh, these guys are so annoying. There, Porter Tank. See the little bastard with the little bag? On his backpack, or on his back? Oh, another one. Come on, quick. Reload, you son of a bitch. Did he die? I think so. And we're about to die. There, I hit her. She's gonna turn around and attack her own people. No, get back there. Ah, annoying. Jesus. Now, you don't actually have to kill all these guys if you just want to quickly loot. I personally just do it. Look at that grenade. It's pretty cool. Get some. Oh yeah, I hit him, so he's gonna do my bidding now. It confuses him, and he's like, I am going to fight for you. Okay. Now that all that madness is, is done, look for the stars on your mini-map. Make sure you're not forgetting any legendaries. We're gonna pick that up. Because we can, we can inspect these uh, later. We pick that up. Remember what I said now. I think we killed three of them. So, here's one bag. Okay, get a good look for what they look like. More legendaries. The Lob. 506, that's actually kind of not the best. Make sure you pick up your weapon skins or whatever else. You could end up getting different heads as well. Don't forget, some epics can actually be pretty decent. Uh, they can have some good stats on them and all that. So that's one bag. Remember what I said, uh, how to look around for the bags. Now, I don't know if the bag is a 100% drop rate. I just, I don't know. What I do know is you're going to get a bag. But for whatever reason, you saw it. I killed a few... Oh, there it is. There's the other bag. And again, more legendaries. Dueling monocle. 576. Adrenaline Rough Rider. 
sure, whatever. Itchy, gratifying laser exploder. Sure. Whatever. We'll just pick it up. Uh, we'll just do the legendaries. But I, I sometimes look around at the other stuff. That's how I got my... Uh, see? These things with the swirly. Those uh, artifacts. You can uh, sometimes get those as well. I was pretty sure there was a third one. A third tinker. I shouldn't call them a tinker. They're tinks. And why is my screen all like frosty at the top? That is kind of weird. I know I got shot there, but... Anyhow. I think you get... Oh yeah, I've already opened the bag. Where the hell is the other bag? Anyhow, you get the idea of this uh, video. What it looks like, what the bags look like, what those little tinker bastards look like. And just try to stay on top of where they die. Because I thought their bags were 100% drop rate. Maybe they're not. I just know that this is a pretty fast method to uh, getting some legendaries. And also uh, leveling up because of that glitch of going offline. I think this was just this uh, run alone. I got four uh, tokens. So to me that's uh, pretty good. And, uh, yeah. Oh, and this is also how I got this weapon skin. I want to show you the weapon skin that I got. Uh, doing this method with the tanks. I think it's pretty badass myself. You might not, but I, I don't really care. It's called the Psychedelic. I mean, look at that sucker. It's pretty wild. See? Psychedelic. Uh, it's a legendary. It was a legendary weapon skin that dropped from uh, the tanks. Holy cow, 12 minutes. I wasn't planning on making this video this long. I'm still trying to figure out why I'm frozen. I still don't get that. Anyhow, once you're done the whole thing, I just kind of tend to run back. Near the uh, respawn point, and then this is where I'll just quit the game and just start over again. I hope this was helpful. I hope it wasn't too convoluted two all over the place. I'm not good at uh, doing guides and you know, stuff like this. I mean, I just picked this up on a whim in two seconds uh, off some guy on the internet on YouTube Gamersnap. Like I said, his uh, link to his uh, video will be posted in the description box. And that's it. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give it a thumbs down. Now make sure when you play the game uh, and you try this method, you just won't be able to load the game. When you disconnect from the internet, it actually just deletes your game, everything. You'll have to repurchase the game. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, I mean, naturally, that would be great. And if not, well, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, boys and girls, and I shall see you all in the next video. Bye now.